morning, silver tubers. It's Mr. Zeke. What do you do at 4.34 in the morning on a Saturday when you can't sleep? You do an unboxing. That's what you do. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you what. This hydrocodone really messes up your sleep schedule, so everybody else in the house is fast asleep. I can't sleep, so I came out to the pouring bench to watch a little Little House on the Prairie, and I just finished an episode, so I thought I would, and I've got this package that's been sitting here, and I just thought I would do an unboxing. This one's from everybody's favorite fossil metals from across the pond, and I made some notes. These are handmade metal souvenirs. I got a little line. Loop over the fossil metals. This, he's the hand of maker. And then I the declared declared the declared. The declared value is 30 pounds. And I wrote ha 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 because you know to those of us in the community when we get a package like this, you can't put a monetary value on it. It's priceless. So I appreciate the trade he did with me. I've got my handy dandy surgical scissors. So I'm going to cut the end that feels like it doesn't have anything on it. The contents may shift during transit. So, and they certainly did. They're at one end of the package, and, which is actually kind of nice because it allows me a nice incision point. So, <gasps> Stuff it here, there be silver. So, oh wow, hey, that's a really, that's a really nice box. I like that. Oh, look at that, fossil metals, dude. That is, that's one of the most professional looking packages I've ever seen. All it needs is a little barcode at the bottom, and you'd swear you'd ordered that from an outlet. Very nice fossil, very nice. And I almost expect this to be an invoice. It's uh, on some very nice stationery, very nice letterhead. I've thought about having some of this made myself just because, you know, I, I write my notes on at most of the time on Atmex uh, stationery. I got a bunch of pads a while back, but. Uh, but this is really neat. Um, it says, Zeke, that's me. Thank you for the trade, my friend. I hope you enjoy our God's rounds as much as we have your pores. All the best, Fossil. So, I'm sure that I will. Very nice note, very nice note. I'll tell you what, that's one topic that I don't think many people have talked about. Um, is you know we all we we do these purchases and we do these trades and i know i mean i know i don't even know how much i've sent out in the last two years but the storage of coas and notes and the little velvet bags that we all have come to love so much um it's amazing i have to have a box separate from the silver just to store all the COAs and just to store all the notes and the velvet bags. And it's like, you have to plan for space for the all the accoutrements that come with the silver pieces. So anyway, yeah, it's four o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to break out my, bam, what is that you say? That is my... Mr. Zeke Laura Blade Knife that I got for Christmas from that generous, wonderful person. Um, before I go any further, uh, on a serious note, I, I want to do a uh, shout out to Crazy Mater Coins. Um, I saw his video and it kind of took my breath away. Uh, having had a heart attack myself last year, uh, I would not wish that on anyone. I hope he's recovering. I know I've been exactly where he's at. It's a very scary place to be. Um, and I just want uh, Crazy Mater Coins to know that I 
And YouTube, I don't care what you think about this, but I'm praying for you, buddy. Um, it's a very scary place to be, especially if you, you know, in, in my humble opinion, if you don't have a plan for what happens after you pass. If that were to happen, that's something that happened. You know, I gave a lot of thought to that when I was laying there in the hospital bed. Uh, you know, what have I done with my life and what's going to happen to me after I pass? And so, anyway, uh, shout out to Crazy Mater Coins. Hope you're getting better, my friend. So let's open this gnarly looking blade. Rawr. It's like shark's teeth. So, let's unpackage this. Let's see what goodness my friend from over the, uh, over the waters, over the big pond has sent. Oh yes, I have to uh, untape it here. All right, there we go. So, oh my gosh, this could be from this could literally be from Provident, or this could be from, you know, Elemental or Atmax, or the way this is packaged is unbelievable. Here's your uh, card, hand-poured silver and bullion art from Fossil Metals. And with compliments, Fossil. Man, this is really, really well done. Spot on, my friend. And so... Inside the box, I've got some bl a blister pack, some bubble wrap, and I saw these, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff out being put out right now that is very similar. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. Everybody has their own interpretation of the same theme, but these just kind of struck my fancy because they were a little bit different. Um, and so, here we have a... Uh, cert certificate, jeez, <laughs> can't even talk. Certificate of authenticity. This genuine piece of fossil metals, hand poured silver, has a purity of 958, which is Britannia silver. Which, now, uh, when I was, when we talked, I thought, you know, it's coming from Britain, better be Britannia silver then. Um, and this is serial number 0007. So, and this is the Horus round. So let's have a look at this Horus round. Get this knife out of the way. I don't want to cut something. The, oh my gosh. The first uh, the first thing I feel is a, a serious chunkiness to it. It's got, it's very weighty in the hands. And so, and now we've got all of the, oh, the Union Jack, Fossil Metals, 958, and the Assayer Stamps. Uh, two ounces Troy in the serial number point zero 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 seven. Um, I think that's cool. We don't have anything like that here in the states, um, and I think the concept of a an assayer being uh, sort of watching over you, uh, watching over the product. I think that's very 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 cool. Uh, it probably adds cost and time, and and it's probably on your side of the pond, it's probably a giant pain in the butt. But you know what? These are the first hallmarked pieces that I've received. Uh, my piece I got from Backyard Bullion was before uh, the hallmark stamping began. And so it doesn't have any of this. And so um, these are my first hallmarked hand poured pieces. And uh, there's just something really sexy about that. Very cool. And so... And there we have it. He asked if I wanted them um, antiqued or blackened, you know. And I said, no, I, I, I like my silver, you know, raw. And so here's the Horus round um, as it would come out of the mold. I see he said, do you want it high polished? I said, no, let's, get, let's give her a light tumble and call it good. And there's the fossil metals. And there's the 958 denoting Britannia silver. Interesting that that's on the face. The assayer almost treats this like a coin. Um, so there is the Horus round. It's stamped right there, Horus. Very, 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 very nice. Nicely done. Nicely appointed. 
and you can see you've got a little a few striations in the pore where it was poured um, and then almost almost some very 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 fine reading on the edge uh, in places and so very nice I can put that in a flip and put that in my coin book so there's the horse round and he, he included a, a velvet bag in case I want to store it in a velvet bag um, so I'll put that one right here and let's have a look here once again we've got you know all the same uh, all the same stuff that came with the first one we've got this one we got the velvet bag we have the certificate of authenticity see how that just rolled off the tongue that time from fossil metals and this is also britannia silver and this is the anubis round two ounces troy same serial number, so I got a match pair, 0007, hand signed by Fossil. Um, I like hand signed cards. Uh, there's something to me about it, knowing that the, the creator of these actually put pen to paper. And there's all those, those hallmarks, Fossil Metals, Union Jack. That makes me want to get a, a, an American, a small American flag stamp and start stamping that on there. You know, I think that's cool because it immediately identifies where it's from. Two OZT ounces Troy. Point zero 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 seven. Very rustic, very uh, unique. And that's, you know, honestly, that's hard to do in this time right now. With that, with so many pores, it's hard to truly bust out and be unique. And so, you know, Anubis nine five eight. Fossil metals. And this cat carves his own molds. Uh, he's been known to make his own stamps, and so there's something really cool about that. And I don't know. It's it's a toss up between the two, but I'm I'm really I'm leaning towards the Anubis round over the Horus round. Not that there's anything wrong with the Horus round, but this uh, Anubis round is very very fetching. So, there's that. Oh, man. And, and the diameter, I can just imagine a tube of these. You know, putting them in a tube and collecting a tube. Uh, that would be something very, very interesting. Um, they have such a coin-like quality to them. Although, I tell you, I wouldn't want to carry that around in my pocket. You know, a bunch of these in my pocket all day long. Uh Maybe he should look into doing a fractional size or even a one out size, but it'd be hard to capture uh, that same feel. So, well, extremely long video because it's four o'clock in the morning and I got jack squat else to do. But there are my two pickups from Fossil Metals. Thank you, mate. Well done. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Very appreciative. And for those of you who aren't subbed to Fossil Metals, you know, go over, check them out. Neat cat, doing some neat work. And if you're not subbed to Crazy Mater Coins, Crazy Mater Coins. C-R-A-Z-Y-M-A-T-O-R Coins, I believe. Um, give them a shout out, tell them you're thinking about them. And lastly, for those of you who know Tazzy, uh, he's got a new channel. He uh, busted out of the community for a little bit. Not that he's going to be completely done, I don't believe. But he busted out because he wants to focus on his woodworking. And I get it. He does some sick boxes. And he does some really nice knives. And so, I don't have a channel name for it yet. Um, he sent me a link and it just says new vid. I didn't catch the channel name. But I'm sure if you uh, get in touch with him, he will uh, say hey and give you the link to it so anyway we're almost to 15 minutes i could keep going but i'm not gonna so cheers everybody it's mr zeke from the silver unboxing bench